Well, hello there. Star Wars Discussion here, and we're going to start a new series, a book review series. We're going to do Expanded Universe and Canon. We're going to review every book there is, and I hope you like the ride. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Have I ever told you the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Now will be the first book that we are going to read or review. And that will be the first book we review, Darth Plagueis by James Lucino. If you haven't read this book, this should be the first Star Wars book you will ever read in your life. It is that great. Starts off with Darth Plagueis and Darth Tenebris, his master. The rule of two is still in effect. They are in hiding. The Jedi do not know of the Sith. So they use the shadows to their advantage. Darth Plagueis kills his master, Darth Tenebris. Now what you don't know is Darth Tenebris never believed in Darth Plagueis. So he has a backup plan. Darth Venomous. We'll talk about him later. Now Plagueis goes around the world and he is also known as Hugo de Mass. He goes to the planet Naboo. He's not looking for a apprentice but he comes across this young kid, Sheev Palpatine, who we all know as Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine. Now, he can't sense his powers because Sheev has a awesome natural ability to cloak himself in the Force. So, when he finally finds out that he's been cloaking himself unwillingly, Unknowingly, Plagueis gets aroused and makes him his apprentice. But there is one thing Palpatine has to do, and that's kill his parents, who are against Hugo the Mass and Sheev working together, or even being together. Now, they start working together, and Sheev starts feeding Plagueis information about his father. His father is in the political realm. Sheev has a little wariness about him because he believes he should be more aggressive. But his father is happy where he's at in life and Sheev thinks that's weakness. Well, that leads to hate and despair Why Plagueis is teaching them without really teaching them to become a Seth, to use the darkness. He eventually kills his whole family. And that is his initiation into the Sith Order and becomes Plagueis' new apprentice. Now, I believe they go to the planet My Goal for training. It's like a planet like Hoth. He, Palpatine starts to freeze to the verge where he thinks he's going to give up. But his hatred and his perseverance pulls through and he survives and passes and pretty much becomes a full-fledged apprentice to Plagueis. Now, here's where the shows and everywhere else sort of conflicts because in a market, Palpatine is walking and a night sister ran away from the tribe and gives Sheev, Darth Sidious at that time, a baby. And that is Darth Maul. Now, I believe in Clone Wars, it was Sidious went to Dathomir, Mother Talza gave Maul to him. 
and that's how that dynamic came about but that's not even close to what James wrote I believe if she got caught they both would die so Palpatine hides him and trains him to be his apprentice assassin Plagueis isn't happy with him having him so he calls him pretty much just assassin but it's his apprentice now Darth Venomous comes and attacks Plagueis they have a battle he claims he was the real apprentice to Tenebris but it proves that Plagueis was the stronger of the two and he beats him but that's not it he doesn't kill him he enslaves him he captures him and he does experiments on him at one point he kills him and brings him back to life with metachlorian and he does it repeatedly over and over and over until his body was just so tore up from being killed and brought back to life he couldn't withstand it anymore. That was a very cool aspect. And that's where Palpatine gets that line with Anakin in the auditorium where he told him the story of Darth Plagueis. Now, events of episode one is pretty close tied up with this book and what leads up to episode one two and three chancellor valorum palpatine gets in close with him becomes best friends with him and sort of nudges him out makes him second guess himself and just sabotages him a great ploy for him to become the new chancellor now, Palpatine wanted Plagueis to become Chancellor, but Plagueis knew somebody of his species would not make it in that political realm. So he would be the guy sitting in the back pushing the strings for the puppet. But he believed him and Palpatine would both rule as one. But Palpatine was more Sith than Plagueis. He knew that would never work. So one day they started drinking very heavily. And Plagueis was so sloppy drunk, he could barely hold his head up. And that's when Palpatine, Darth Sidious, knew the time was to strike. The force was telling him. He unloaded a volley of force lightning and blasted him and blasted him. Now, the part that caught me the most. Now, th let's do a little time jump. Plagueis, when I was reading this, it seemed like Plagueis was the guy moving everything, the real mastermind of everything, pushing all the strings. It made me... Now, Sidious is my favorite character in all Star Wars. Him and Luke Skywalker. But this book made me think, wow, Sidious wasn't that competent to move all these pieces around the board. But then James Lucina throws that curveball right there at the end. And before Plagueis dies... Sidious is electrocuting him and tells him, I put all those thoughts in your heads. I wanted you to do what I wanted you to do. Your thoughts were my reactions. I set everything in motion. It was me. I just gave you the thoughts to think you were the one in charge. And I was like, wow. Because I was even telling my kids, you know how much I like Palpatine. He's really not as strong as Plagueis. And that just blew my mind right there. 
And then before he did the final last little huzzah of force lightning, he declared himself the Sithari, which is the Sith's chosen one. Which it's really hard to argue with. He's got a metachlorian count higher than Yoda. The only one beating him is Anakin. Now, before he does that, him and Plagueis were trying to stir up stuff in the Jedi Order. You could see him talking to Count Dooku, Plagueis especially. Dooku has his worries, ups and downs with the Jedi Orders, frustrated, so many Jedi dying that needlessly didn't need to die. Qui-Gon, I think, sensed everything. He knew something was aroused, but better met his master, Count Dooku. He just sort of took the back seat, but he kept Plagueis and Sidious at arm's reach. And you see Master Sifo Diaz, who's also in that realm. So all four of them, eventually, I believe, were plotting together. But Sidious only needed one apprentice. So that's where Count kills Sifo Diaz and becomes his new apprentice. This book is amazing. I can't say that enough. It was a fantastic read. When it was over, I was sort of sad it was over. I wanted more. I guess that tells you if it's a good book or not, is when the book is over, it's you're grasping for more and there's just not. I'm glad they didn't do more because you never know if this is going to turn out good or turn out bad. So let's just leave it at that. Now, I would rate this book... A strong must pick up, must read, 100%. This book is amazing. There's a lot more I didn't cover. I want you to go out and read this book because this book is amazing. If you can't read the book, you don't have the time to, at least listen to the Audible on your car rides to work, school, kids practices, whatever it might be. You won't. Be sad that you picked it up. Fantastic book. They even have it in Legends. Whatever format you want to pick it up or can pick it up, pick it up. It's a fantastic book. Now we'll do it. Darth Plagueis, The Wise by James Lucino. No, it's just Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis by James Lucino. Star Wars discussion here. May the force be with you, always.